Alright, so in this video, I am just um, stenciling over a pour that I did a while back. Um, I wasn't 100% happy with it, but I didn't completely hate it. I just knew it needed something more. And I... Um, actually got involved in a resin swap uh, with the resin group that I'm a part of and um, my swap partner that I ended up getting said that she loves sea turtles and I didn't know what I was gonna do I'm still learning resin so I wanted to give her something like really pretty and so I started searching sea turtle SVGs and then I just found this one that was the sea turtle with um, this quote on it and I fell in love with it and I knew it had to go over the painting because you know the painting was of the ocean and it was really rough waters and I was like oh my gosh this is just perfect so I cut the stencil out with my Cricut Explorer Air 2 and I am using the Oracal um, stencil vinyl and I am using just a circle makeup sponge actually to just dab the the paint in and go over the stencil. Um, I actually prefer to use makeup brushes when I do stencils but <laughs> I don't know if that makes me weird or not but it's just my preferred method so um, I'm just going to let you guys watch as I stencil this in and um, I hope you guys um, enjoy and then it will be revealed at, at the end. Alright. So it took about two layers to cover this completely and then even after I did the two layers I kind of went back and had to just um, I guess spot check <laughs> some spots and just add um, a little bit more uh, paint to some spots and then I just let it dry 
and when I was satisfied with it, I started to lift the stencil off. So now everything is dry and I am peeling the stencil vinyl up off of the canvas which is a lot of times easier, <laughs> easier planned than actually done. Um, uh, this part always worries me just because you can actually uh, tend to lift the paint that you just put down off the canvas um, or uh, in some cases uh, you know bleeding um, your paint will bleed underneath your stencil um, no matter how good you have that vinyl um, added to the canvas there's always little bubbles that escape and you don't see them and then it's too late and it's like no um, but I am just doing these in small little sections as best that I can. Uh, I'm actually going pretty slow. This is just uh, sped up a little bit and I don't know, it's kind of relaxing for me to do this, like, reveal. Um, I love just seeing how the piece actually came together. Uh, but sometimes it's heartbreaking because I'll notice, oh my gosh, no, it bled, or, you know, whatever. And then I'm like, forget it, I failed. But, um, yeah. But, I don't know, it's pretty cool to just watch uh, everything that you just put down actually be rebuilt and come to life. So now I am using my pin pin, which is actually one of my lifesaver tools um, when I work with vinyl, and I am getting all the itty bitty, teeny tiny uh, little pieces out and just revealing even more of, of the details um, for, the, for the turtle. So, um, and it will help me get uh, 
in the letters as well. Um, the O's and the P's and you know all of those just get that get that excess. And, but uh, I love the little pin pin. It's really sharp and I tend to stab myself a lot with it, but it is still a lifesaver because it just helps get all those teeny tiny little edges up to where I can just uh, peel out the vinyl. Um, and like I said, just reveal more of the image and, and more of the detail of, in this case, this beautiful turtle. So I had to go back in and touch up part of this S. It came off with the vinyl and this is the final piece outside in the sun and I am really happy at how it, it turned out and my swap partner loved it too so that made it even better. But I am so glad that I kept this painting around for as long as I did and didn't just chunk it or pour over it because it would have never became the piece it is now. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, ask questions, make requests on what you might want to see next. Thanks y'all. Bye.